What's going on you guys? Welcome to the Single Guy channel. My name's Lloyd. Today we're gonna to be talking about how to get women to respect you. Huge problem with a lot of people who are watching my channel um, and a huge problem in general with in the developed world. You know, there's more and more men that women just aren't respecting, okay? You know, they're being treated poorly in their relationships or they're just not getting with them at all. So if you're a guy who feels like he's suffering through this, you're probably not getting a lot of sex from women. You're probably not getting a lot of women to do what you want to do. They probably want th they probably want you to do what they want to do all the time um, and then they just don't give anything in return, okay? So if you feel like you're one of these guys that's being bossed around with women, keep watching because I'm going to tell you exactly how to get women to respect you and I'm going to also tell you why it's such a big problem in today's day and age and how to get over this um, and actually become a man that women respect and desire. Okay, so before I get into this, if you guys are wondering how to get coached by me personally, there is a form in the description below. Click that link that I have there and it'll take you to the form, fill it out, and if we feel like you're a good fit, uh, we'll get back to you. Okay, cool. So, why is this such a big problem in today's day and age? Well, if you look at the stats, there's a lot of stats out there about marriage, about relationships, and about sex that really paint a very negative picture of men, okay? First of all, two out of the three marriages that go to divorce Two out of the three of those are initiated by the woman, okay? Basically, she doesn't respect the guy she's with, she doesn't want him anymore, she wants to go find her, explore other options elsewhere. And this is after women are in their 40s, you know? Like, they're not, they're not at their peak when they were, you know, in their early, mid, mid, mid to late 20s. Um, and so they must really not want to get with their husbands anymore. They must really not desire or respect them in any way, shape, or form. So this is a big problem in marriages. Also, too, when it comes to sex in general, you look at the amount of sex people are having, it's 30% less than it was 20 years ago. So where is this 30% drop coming from? It's coming almost exclusively from men. There's just a section of men in the population that women just won't get with anymore. They just don't want. And it's because they don't respect them. They don't want to sleep with these guys. Okay, so why, what is happening? What is going on that this trend is happening in the developing world? Okay, well, I think there's a number of reasons for it, but one of the biggest ones is the amount of direction men get in their early formative years. The majority of households in America, in the developed world, are run by women, okay? Whether the guy's left, he's not helping out, uh, whether he's kind of absent, or whether it's a divorce or something like that, and they spend the majority of the time with the woman, okay? So most households run dominated uh, by women, so they're seeking approval from women there in the household. Also, too, in our schools, for me personally, when I was in school, I remember the, the first male teacher I ever had, and I was pretty surprised and intimidated when I had this guy, was in the sixth grade. That was the only male teacher I had up until the age of 15. So during all this period of time, almost all the teachers that I had that would allow me to go to the bathroom, that would tell me what to do, that I would try not to get in trouble with, all of this was dictated by a woman. So I grew up, and most guys in today's day and age grow up with most of the women making the decisions for them and they have to kind of look to them for approval, for advice, for really everything. This does not breed a masculine guy. You can't be a masculine guy if you've had no masculine figure in your life to emulate. So what it does is, it, you know, it, it does some good things. I'm not saying um, femininity is bad, but too much of it for men won't get, and for women too, too much of it for women also breeds bad behavior as well too. So, so like if you have too much of, of, of one thing or anything, and in this case it's fe femininity, it's gonna breed not good behavior. So what these guys have to do after is they have to make up for lost time basically. Learn how to lead, learn how to take charge, learn how to express their own opinions, learn how to get over their insecurities and stop being afraid for no reason. A lot of guys have to learn this a while later and it's a pretty steep learning curve for some people. Okay, I talk about this all the time. Like if you can't learn this, if you can't learn how to have the man to woman interaction, which is the man leads and the woman follows, you're never gonna get women to wanna sleep with you. You're never gonna get women to, to respect you and truly desire you, okay? So the first step on becoming this kind of guy, a man that women respect, is to have the ability to walk away. If you don't have the ability to walk away from a woman, she's not gonna respect you. The reason why these marriages are failing is because the woman knows no matter what she does, the guy's just gonna put up with it. No matter how she treats him, the guy's just gonna deal with it, okay? She doesn't wanna be with that guy. She wants to be around a strong man that can lead, that can take charge, that can you know contribute to the relationship and, uh, and make it grow, rather than looking to her for the answers all the time. It's too much responsibility most women don't want to deal with that shit, okay? 
So they don't fuck their husbands because of it. So that's one one area. And the other area too is the the women that men just sorry the men that women just won't sleep with because they can't lead, they can't take charge, and they just let women continually boss them around. They get caught in the friend zone. They get caught uh, dealing with women who will make them pay for all the dates, never saying thank you. They will deal with a, uh, a relationship or a woman who will continually boss them around, only see them when they wanna be seen, and they will just never get laid, okay? The girl will just never wanna have sex with them, so they just continually put up with these, and because they've been trained to put up with women bossing them around the whole time, um, they freaking deal with it. So the first step is being able to walk away from these situations, and I know for a lot of you, it's really, really hard because you feel like you don't have any options. You feel like you don't, you can't get another girl. And dude, I was in positions like this too, man. I was in terrible relationships with women who would boss me around, not respect me, and do all of those things that I mentioned. Um, I was in positions where I would try and win over a girl that I liked who just had no, zero, any bit or shred of interest in me because I wasn't exercising masculine traits. The first step, and only the first time I was able to do this was actually when I got options. So how did I get options when I wasn't doing well with women? I just went out. And if you don't have much skill socially, you can't talk to girls or any of that sort of stuff, well then just go out a lot, okay? <laughs> Give yourself more opportunities to meet women and you will get options. I mean, that's what happened to me when I was starting from nothing, okay? And then eventually I got better and better and now I know that literally all I have to do to get myself more options is to step outside of my house, okay? So if you're in this position where you don't, you feel like you don't have options and can't get options, just know that in the future you will get better if you put your mind to it and respect yourself, trust yourself, okay? That you will be able to do this. If you can't get a girl when you go out one time, go out two times, go out three, keep going out and you will get options, okay? So that's the, that's the first thing. So having options for me really helped me out and being able to start exercising myself as a man. And once you know you can get options, then even if you don't have options right at that time, you know you can get them in the future, and so you don't have to be reliant on one woman. You don't have to feel like, oh, I have to put up with all of this stuff because I can't get another girl. And the truth is, man, you can either decide to experience pain now, meaning you will experience rejection when you first start this. You will talk to a lot of girls who don't want to talk to you, and you will, you, you're gonna experience pain now, but in the future, you're gonna get better. You know, men, a lot of men improve as they age, and so you have to be, you have to trust in that. Trust in the fact that things will improve, things will get better, and you don't have to deal with this small temporary pain to get the girls that you want, okay? Because you can either deal with pain now or deal with a shitload of pain later. And I chose the pain now. Okay? And that's why I'm able to live the life that I'm in. That's why I'm able to date the girls that I want to date. That's when whenever a girl's showing me things or, or doing stuff, that, like the stuff that I just mentioned, I don't have to put up with it. I can go for a girl who will respect me, who will contribute, and who will be um, someone that, uh, that I can love and who loves me and, and, and we can be in a happy relationship. Okay, But you'll never be able to do that if you don't at first have the ability to walk away, you guys. So walking away, I think, is the biggest thing, the biggest reason why guys have all these nice guy tendencies and they, and they can't get the girls that they want. So that's the first step. So if you need some help with this, I recommend that you reach out for some coaching, whether it's me or somebody else. Having some direction, having a guy who actually displays the masculine traits can really help you. Um, and join a group to have a little bit of a community. That's why I have the Facebook group that I have there, okay? These guys, will pick you up when you're fucking up, when you're doing things incorrectly, they will help make sure that you get right back on track where they are exhibiting those nice guy tendencies um, uh, again and again. Uh, the community will really help you guys. Okay, cool. So that's what I have to say about this, you guys. If you may attend, consider subscribing. I come out with videos like this every single week. Again, guys, fill out the coaching form if you're interested to get coached by me personally. Um, I got some new spots opening up for my group coaching program, which we're gonna be starting in a couple weeks. And uh, I look forward to speaking with you soon. Thanks a lot. Good luck out there.